Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. This mama loves crafty cuteness. Okay guys, so I have some items that I got from Walmart. I got some items from Dollar General and I got some items from here and there, okay? So first of all, the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys, oh my goodness. So my daughter came to visit this past weekend or past week. And um, she ended up bringing me, if you're from the South and you guys know about Bucky's, oh my goodness, this grape cotton candy is absolutely delicious. <laughs> so she brought me some, we have, we have a Bucky's bias, but I would say it was probably about, I guess round trip would be an hour away. And so we always pass a bunch of Bucky's, like three Bucky's on our way to the beach, but we haven't been in a, in a, you know, in a hot minute. Plus I didn't even know about the grape cotton candy. My son went to go visit her and he ended up coming back with some and it was so good. She ended up bringing me some, um, but she has one really close to her. So she bought it. I ended up picking these up on clearance. Uh, it's been a, it's been a hot minute since I've had these. Um, I had to run into... Hobby Lobby to look for some paint. And um, so I ended up picking up some of these fabric um, paints, but you know what? I think you can use them for anything. I don't think it has to be just on fabric. So they were 212 on clearance, regular 849. Um, had to run to uh, gosh, Party City, because I needed to get, um, uh, some party stuff for my son's birthday and when I was there I looked at the Halloween stuff and I love these necklaces you guys these are going to be great on my Halloween trees for the front porch at least the purple and the black are going to be great um, so yeah so I ended up picking up these I, I want to see I think they were like $5.99 or something like that they weren't really like a great price but I love the big bats on them so I did get those Okay, and then the stuff that I got from Walmart. So I ended up picking up some of these caramel, um, let's see, these are Ghirardelli milk chocolate caramel apple flavored little chocolate. So they have that flavoring inside of them. Yummy delicious. I thought those were perfect for the holidays. I saw them at Kohl's because I was at Kohl's not too long ago, but they were so expensive. So I ended up getting them at uh, Walmart. Um, for my projects, you guys, these are absolutely great. These Rustonium um, glosses um, and uh, semi-gloss sprays are awesome. I needed the blue for my, br I was gonna do a broom parking, but I think I'm gonna do a, like a flight school instead. Um, so I did pick up those. Um, I needed, as I said, I needed some paint and Hobby Lobby didn't have their paint on sale. And I just thought, I don't want to pay that much money for paint. So I ended up just picking up some of this Cracker Barrel, uh, bright blue, and then some of this metallic sapphire blue, um, at Walmart, so much more reasonable in price. So I got some of those. And then this was so perfect because everything that I'm doing is like purple and green. Excuse me, not green. I see like little tiny shades of green in there, but purple and blue. So I ended up getting this and I just think it is so pretty. So I got this glitter. Um, what else Halloween do I have? Oh, um, I needed some lights, some more lights. Um, I wasn't able to locate the lights that I have for um, my garland. So I just went ahead and picked up some purple. I picked up these cute bats because I was thinking of covering my big metal screen door um, with the tablecloth. And then I thought, well, I could just put some bats on there, you know, all around. Because I'm going to try to make it glow in the dark. So I thought the bats would look really cool against the white. Um, I did end up picking up some of these little furry spiders. I was going to pick up the colored ones. I think they're so cute. But I was like, no, I'm sticking to a certain color. And I would only be using a couple of them. So I went ahead and got these little furry spiders for my projects. And then I got some of these. These are in the Christmas section. Um, but I thought these would be great with my wreath because I only have black and purple. And I thought this would be perfect with the white because I'm adding white and black as well. 
And last item from Wally World that is Halloween. I got these little um, hair clips that are little skeleton hands. So I'm going to take these on my trip next next week. Next week. Um, and the Christmas items I saw, you guys, they have, oh my gosh. They have these gingerbread men, or gingerbread girl and boy that their cookie is about yay big. So flipping cute. They're $4.95 each. I had them in my buggy. I thought about getting them and I was like, you know, I just, I have too many. I had bought a bunch of um, um, gingerbread stuff last year and I had it out and it just kind of clashed with all my Disney stuff and I have way too much Disney stuff to kind of get rid of it so um and I kind of kind of mixed it but I don't know it really clashed so I figured I'm just going to pick up gingies for crafting so I got these little ones right here that I ended up seeing and then, of course, as always, I ended up getting the lights so I can take these little pieces apart so that I can use them for crafting. And then um, when I was at Wendy's um, with my grandson, I had saw these little books. And these are little um, meal deal books. Um, not meal deals, but you get these are little... Um, Sorry, these are for you to hand out to trick-or-treaters. So they get a free Junior Frosty coupon. So there's two, four, there's four in here. Plus you get a coupon for $1.99 a little kid's meal. So you pay a dollar, so it's like 25 cents for each of the little uh, Frosties. So I got a couple books of those to put in some um, Boo Mail for my grandkids. And then at Dollar General, I ended up picking up a few of these little socks because these ones were my favorite with the little ghosties on them. So I picked up a couple of these. They were only a dollar. And then I ended up picking up a package of these little um, clips. So I got the ones with the little skellies on them, and then I got the little ones with the little um, jack-o'-lanterns on them. They were only a dollar each. And then I got some stickers. So I thought these stickers were so flippin' adorable. Look how cute these are. So you got this adorable haunted house. You have some brooms. You have a hat. Um, you have the cauldron. And of course you got the little Frankies and the little ghosties, but, and then you got the little potion bottles. Oh my God, I love these. So I got three packs of those. I wanna try to um, add those to some Happy Mail, as, or Boo Mail too as well. And then I picked up a couple of these little glow in the dark necklaces for my grandkids. And, and so I got one that um, has a pumpkin and then I have one with a little skelly. And then I got this one right here with the little um, skull lantern. I got a broom. And then I'm going to open these up, you guys, because I'm just curious to see what they look like, okay? So let's go ahead. Let me see if I can get this open. Hold on one second. So this is what the little um, skeleton looks like. I wanted to see what they look like, so <laughs> I bought an extra. They were a dollar each. Oh my gosh, that little skeleton is so flippin' cute. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. I can use those for ornaments. Oh, I like that. And so it comes with the little piece. You would, you would bend this during the night of Halloween and you would tuck it inside the little hole inside here um, and then add the little string for... Um, you're kind of like a little night light for when the kids are trick-or-treating so that cars can see them crossing the streets. Okay, so that one is flipping adorable. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Let's try this one. There's a little tear spot I'm here trying to do with my teeth. <laughs> okay, so this one, let's see, it comes in pieces. How does this one work? Okay, of course you got the cording. Oh, okay, so this one has a little skull so this is going to squish not squish but what you're probably going to do with this is you're going to come from the bottom oh i see it i see it you're going to come from the bottom and push this up and it's going to go through here like so and then you're going to push it all the way up i'm not going to do it now because i don't want to accidentally 
I don't want to accidentally activate it by pushing this down and putting it up. So then that makes a little necklace too. And so that will glow in the dark. That is cool. I love that for the older grandkids. And then we got a broom. Let's see what the broom looks like. This one, I was literally thinking about putting it um, the night of Halloween. Um, just getting a twisty tie and putting it right on right on my um, wreath. So you would activate this, shake it up, and then go ahead and stick it inside there. Like that. Oh, that's cute. That is gonna look so cute on my wreath, I think. So yeah, so that is my haul, my little fun creative little haul. And I will probably be back with another one. I, you guys, I just been, you know, every time I go have to go out, I'll just kind of look around and see if there's anything that I need for my projects or whatever. And I've been picking up stuff here and there. So I have um, some things that I ended up getting from Dollar Tree um, that I will be sharing with you too as well. Okay, you guys, have a great day and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.